so guys, uh, back up in Cherbourg, taking Stena tomorrow. I will show you the uh, dog kennels on the boat. Running on air, right by, right by the port. Hopefully you can see me. There's the van parked up. There's also a dump out air here as well, so you can dump out all your waste products, waters, whatever. There's also bins. I'll have the corners down for you guys, so you can see what it is. It's right by the dock, so it's pretty easy. Hopefully you can hear me with this mask on. Anyway, uh, like I said, let's get the Stena Horizon tomorrow, around about 8.30 tomorrow evening. I'll get us in Saturday. Uh, I'll show you the dog kennels on there. Got killed one of the dog kennels call it Pat Hotel but whatever I think next time I'll just keep him in the van in his own kennel he knows the van and uh, he's been in it since he's been a pup it's about 12 degrees a night a couple of other camper vans here if you can see them in the dark anyway I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I will catch you tomorrow guys later Alright guys, so uh, we arrive in Cherbourg Terminal here, you go to the Stena desk or the Ice Ferries desk and you go there and you uh, bring your dog in there, your pets, and uh, you check your pets in. They scan the uh, barcode on the uh, collar on the chip and you get in your vehicle and you drive and park up for waiting for the Stena boat before you go through security that kind of stuff. What's what I'm doing now? And it'll give you this. Once you check your dog in. So guys, um, on the Stena Horizon, left Sherberg. Not too many people on this ferry at all. I've bumped into nobody. Anyway, Kilo is down in his kennels here. It's called the uh, Pat Hotel. Let's have a look, see what it's like. So what they do, they give you, uh, so what they do is they give you uh, a number, it's a passcode to get in. So let's go down, try a passcode and check out, see how Kilo's doing. All right, probably barking and pissed off. But anyway, let's go and see him. Inside the boat, empty. Locked up. Dog lodge. 
passcode. <laughs> Quiet. C two four. dog So in the middle of the night, taking Kayla for a quick walk, she's pissing down the rain. Kilo. Tell you the truth though guys, I would say the kennels aren't bad, but if you have a vehicle big enough like a motorhome, camper van, I would, uh, if your dogs prefer it better, keep your dogs in the vehicle. Well, that's where I think I'll put mine. You actually, because you can walk around the deck inside the boat where it's warm and the, out of the, uh, the elements of the rain here, I mean, the weather. Like it's pissing down quite good now. So that's the benefits of having your, your uh, dog pet in the vehicle. Get out of the weather and you can walk around on the uh, car deck. We're here with the Pat Hotel of Stena. You gotta walk around outside in the rain. But, uh, hey, Kilo. Kilo. No. So I'd say next time, I would use Stena, but I would probably uh, put the dog, keep him in the van. I have the other dog, she's in the van, missing. So I just wanted to try him up here. Well. Time for bed. So guys, that's the uh, small tour of the, uh, the dog lodges on the uh, Stenna Horizon. Not much to it. It's out on the deck. You got cover here.
If the boat was busy, I'd say a bit of a pain in the ass walking the dogs around here with people out here all the time, you know what I mean? And the noise, the dogs all barking. So I would say I would use Stena because I can put a dog in the vehicle. So that's what I would do. Alright guys, I will catch you all later. Cheers. Good boy. Now we're gonna take a drink. Here. Get a drink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles. With a heater and a light. Kill. No. Be quiet. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs>